everyone and welcome back to vlogmas day four it is tuesday today and i am starting the vlog in the evening because if you can't tell by the outfit i am dressed head to toe in winter layers i've got four layers on the waterproof coat because it is raining the winter hat which i absolutely love this celine hat i got this for christmas last year actually and i love it I wore it skiing quite a lot when we went for New Year last year. But anyway, I am going out this evening, a little Tuesday night, girly night, at Bedgebury Christmas Lights. I'm so excited, I've never been before. I always see it on Instagram, and I've always been desperate to do something like this. So Jack's mum asked me if I wanted to come along, and I obviously said yes. So me, Jack's mum, and Jack's sister are gonna go tonight, and I'm so looking forward to it. It's just gonna feel so festive. And I'm definitely bringing the wellies because the rain has been relentless the last few days and I think the ground is going to be super muddy. So that is the plan for the evening. I'm definitely snug as a bug in a rug right now and I need to get in the car and head over to the farm, meet the girls and then we're going to drive over together. And oh, I'm just feeling all the Christmas vibes this week. I have just been back to back with work, deadlines. I've got so many jobs to film this last couple of weeks. So it's been a lot, but it's all well and good. And I just, I love being busy. So that is always a good thing. The house is feeling super Christmassy. I put a little bit of the mistletoe up and I've popped a garland on the living room fireplace, but I will show you all that in good time yeah i need to get in the car and get on my way i have no idea what to expect but i'm really excited i thought i would just show you my layers just to give you some winter outdoor inspo so i have got a cashmere roll neck on if you can see it then i've got a wool blend roll neck this one is from novo london then i've actually got jack's shuffle on because it's a little bit bigger and it's longer so i feel like it's going to keep me warmer um and it's navy blue and i'm wearing a navy blue jumper so i feel like it matches a bit better then i've got this coat which i have shown you in a video before sorry about the hoover in the background i have been hoovering this afternoon um this is amazing this jacket it's a really long padded coat waterproof it is amazing for things like this celine beanie and then i currently have got my uggs on but i am going to put my wellies on i'm just wearing these in the car and i've got some adenola leggings comfort is key super cozy and i'm going to jump in the car and make my way over <laughs> Wednesday and excuse the washing behind me I feel like I'm doing about 3,000 things at the moment but I am dressed and ready to go and we are heading to Vista Village today me and Grace are making a little pit stop along the way to go to Vista do a bit of Christmas shopping and then we are heading to the beautiful Painswick Hotel around the Gloucestershire area 
and we are staying there this evening for a little pre-Christmas girls night and I'm so looking forward to it. We're gonna have so much fun. We've got an afternoon tea, dinner, we've got a walk planned for the morning and it's just gonna be so lovely. Grace is actually going to Australia for Christmas this year and I'm gonna miss her so much. Um, she is Jack's sister, if you didn't know, and we always have so much fun over Christmas with our families and things, so I'm going to miss her a lot. So I thought we could do this as a little pre-Christmas break, but I thought I would show you my outfit of the day. So I am wearing quite a simple outfit. I've got black jeans from H&M, just the skinny black jeans that I'm wearing so much at the minute. Novo cashmere body in the camel colour, I've got my knee high heeled boots on and then this beautiful coat which is kind of the show stopping piece, this is from French Connection, I got this last year, I absolutely love this, the colour, the little faux fur collar, it's so wintry and then I've got my leather gloves in my pockets because it is icy this morning, I took the bin out <laughs> early this morning and I was honestly slipping on the pathway, it was so slippy. But I'm just waiting for Grace, she probably will be pulling on the drive any second now, and we will be on our way, and hopefully I can get some good Christmas presents, fingers crossed. We have arrived to Vista Village, and my camera is officially not working. I'm gonna have to charge it when we get back and try and bring it back to life. But I'm vlogging on my phone, so I hope the quality isn't too bad. We have just gone to the little Ralph's coffee pop-up outside the Ralph Lauren store, right at the end of Vista Village. And we've got a hot chocolate. Grace drove us here. We're here in one piece. Actually, this blanket really matches your outfit. The little tartan. I really like that tartan colour. Yeah, it's really nice. So the plan of action is Christmas shopping. We've got lists. We've got a process. <laughs> We're ready. We're on a mission. We've got everyone to buy for. I haven't done a single bit of shopping. Maybe I'll you. write a list as well. Do a I've, list. I've deal with that. Okay. 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 Shopping. I haven't. I know what I'm getting, but I haven't got anything. My baskets are full on my laptop, but I haven't clicked <laughs> order. Actually, I have got one thing, Bernardia. Um, yeah, so that is the plan of action. I think we're going to go into Ralph Lauren first. We've walked to the end, and then we're going to work our way back. So I'll show you anything that I'm loving and well I'm not planning to buy anything for myself it's Christmas presents but we'll see we are two shops in two shops in, two shops in. Successful. very successful we've got quite a lot of presents actually done very well we've got some bits in Ralph Lauren some bits in Bamford I don't think anyone's gonna watch the vlog in the family so they won't know <laughs> what we're buying them. I think no one's going to watch my vlog. <laughs> um, yeah, going so well, but it's absolutely freezing. But we are back on the hunt for more presents. I still have quite a lot of sunglasses. Sunglasses. I need and summer to... shopping. Yeah, Grace is summer shopping. It's making me sad. I'm like, look at all this knitwear. What about that scarf? <laughs> she needs sunglasses and bikinis. Um, oh, I think the white company's down here. Yeah. Is it? Or is it the next one? Next one, maybe. I do want to look in really Oh, let's look in self portrait. Oh, Barb is down there. So we can. Basically, just scouting out all the shops that everyone in the family likes. <laughs> to, <laughs> yeah, to buy all the presents. So I'll update you. Yeah, I think that's a fish and, yeah, fish and chip. Lobster. <laughs> I'll update you when we've got some more gifts. Okay, we've done some more shopping. We've been in the white company. We are now in Saint Laurent and I have just seen a bag that I absolutely love. And I feel like you guys know I never impulse buy. But this is the spring summer bag of dreams. I absolutely love it. It's so nice. And it's such a good size compared to this one. Oh my God. How beautiful is this? <gasps> oh, I love it. And also it's a saving of, what was it? 500 pounds. 500 pounds. You're already gonna get it already, saving. So good. Grace is such a bad influence. <laughs> <laughs> We have finally made it to our hotel for the evening. We are staying at the Painswick this evening. 
and I am so excited to be here and we have honestly been like playing Christmas songs. We're in full Christmas mode. My camera is on charge so hopefully it fixes before. Um, by the time we get back and I can move on to the camera so the quality is better, I do apologise. But I thought I would give you a little room tour before we go down for afternoon tea. I also think I've got lipstick on my chin. So this is how our room is looking. We've got a massive wardrobe on the left here. Basically just all the lovely touches that you want in a hotel room. Absolutely beautiful. I love all the colours in here. This colour of this um, chest of drawers is so nice. Oh, they've got books. I know, I just saw that. That is so lovely. So sweet. So thoughtful. Yeah, really thoughtful. Full length mirror, which is always good. Yeah. Massive bed. My bear has already made herself at home. <laughs> Sofa at the end of the bed. Oh, it's just lovely. A huge desk. Also, the radio was on when we walked in, and I really love that. Yeah. I think that's such a nice homely touch. And the view out the window is incredible. It's so tucked away and just, it's really idyllic. Like, cosy Cotswold, tiny little village. It's yeah, absolutely it's amazing. Holiday. Yeah, we said we feel like we're in the holiday it honestly feels like it imagine if it was snowing oh. that would be the holiday and then the bathroom frosty yeah the bathroom is also amazing oh i see what you mean about the mirror that's so nice freestanding bath so we are gonna head down for afternoon tea oh and we got cookies oh it's just so lovely same, we are so hungry, so we're going to head down for afternoon tea. Good evening, everyone. We are just getting ready for dinner. We had our afternoon tea, which was absolutely amazing. We had scotch eggs. What else? Uh, sausage rolls. Sausage rolls, scones. sandwiches, scones, and also like a mince pie tart with... Crumble crumble topping it was absolutely amazing and we were very full up so we came back <laughs> laid on the bed <laughs> defrosted for an hour and we're now ready for dinner we're actually going to go down a bit earlier and get a drink at the bar because it's so nice downstairs it's really cozy i would really love to sit by the fire yeah where that um that yeah that looked oh so nice such a cozy hotel it is. i feel like you could really come here and just not leave like if it was such nice weather, you could go yeah. for a walk. I think this is such go a like, wintry hotel. Yeah. Right now, but I can imagine it being so summery as well. Yeah, the garden looks so nice. Oh, it looks like a little Italian terrace. Yeah, it does. I'd actually love to come back in the yeah. summer. So that is the plan. We've got the a la carte menu for dinner, and I did have a look at the sample menu, and it looks really nice. So I'm looking forward to it. Outfit of the night, I am wearing this set, which I show you all the time because I just love this. It's so comfortable and snuggly, but I just feel like it looks quite smart. So a little mini skirt and then the cardigan and then I've got my um, knee high boots on. Grace's outfit is also lovely. So Grace, do an outfit of the night. I really love your top. A country top on. And so nice. Kind of matching bag with... These flow trousers, I was wearing them earlier. And oh, here it was. So nice. I've absolutely, where's the top from? It's Zara. I was in Blue Water the other day, and you know how they have the bit where, like most Zaras kind of have the normal stuff. Mm. The one in Blue Water has like everything on the website, and this was actually in my bag on a website, and I oh, saw the, it. Oh, that's like, always the best. This is exactly what I want. Yeah, I love it. I really like nice. that. They had it in a little like, like, more cami style one. Oh, cool. I've got that one as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> love it. Right, let's head down and get a drink. We're just in the main room, which we've got completely to ourselves. And earlier we sat over there and had afternoon tea and now we are sat right next to the fire, which actually is going out. Um, but I keep talking about these lights because I just absolutely love them. They're like an antique brass. Oh, 
I just think they're amazing. I'd love to find out where these from. I think they're so cool. The aesthetics in here are lovely. I love the paneling. All the colours are yeah. lovely. The patterns, like I really like pieces. this. Yeah, really nice. We have just been looking at the dinner menu because dinner is in half an hour. And I thought I would show you the menu. It looks absolutely amazing. What have you got your eye on? I don't know. It I think the so salmon nice. would be really nice. Yeah. The sashimi. Also burrata. Mm, nice. Yeah. What about mains? What oh look, they've got a beef mains? wellington on here. I know, I saw that. I was looking at the dark. I, I knew you were going to say that. But I don't know if I'm in more of a fish mood. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking the either the bass. stone bass or the cod. I think the bisque for me. Yeah, bisque. the bisque. Yeah. Mm, yeah, such a nice menu though. Also, I love my little logo. It's so cute. <laughs> lighting it's a little bit all over the place but it is currently 8 30 and we have been up for quite a while i actually set an alarm for seven because we ended up going to sleep quite late we went to bed about half 12 i think but we've had such a lovely relaxed stay i feel like i haven't really shown you much but we obviously went to Vista yesterday and it was so successful. We got so many Christmas presents, so many bits ticked off the Christmas present list, which is so good. I'm really, really pleased. I feel like I've made such a good dent and I just need to get little bits now. Also may have treated myself to a couple of things. So when I'm back home, I will give you a little haul and show you what I picked up because everything is in the car. We are just getting ready. Grace is just in the shower. And we are going to head down for breakfast this morning. And we're going to have quite a nice slow day today. We are going to shoot a little bit in the hotel, do a little bit of work. And then um, we're hopefully going to get out for a walk. But the weather is not the best today. It's quite rainy. And it's very dark, actually. It was so windy this morning. So I'm hoping either the rain isn't too heavy or it clears up and we can get out for a nice walk before we head back because I think it'll just be so nice to explore around the hotel and get some fresh air and do a little bit of exercise but the dinner last night was incredible um I had the stone bass and it was so yummy Grace had the Atlantic cod with like a bisque and like mussels and oh it was so yummy we also got the burrata to share as a starter which was so nice and we had a little glass of wine and it was just lovely, really nice and relaxed. I feel so refreshed and I feel like I'm going to go home and be in full Christmas last couple of weeks of work, kind of getting stuff done um, before the big day, which is crazy. I can't believe how quickly it's come around. So that is the plan for the day. We've also had the radio on pretty much the whole time we've been in this room. I absolutely love it. We've had smooth Gloucestershire radio. They've been playing Christmas songs, like so many old classics, and I think I now want to get a radio in our bedroom because it's so nice. It's really nice putting it on, like when you're getting ready, and last night we had it on when we were in bed. That is the plan for the day. I am really looking forward to breakfast. I don't know what to get. I don't know whether to go sweet or savoury. We will see. Have a look at the menu. Um, but yeah, I will update you a little bit later on, but I just thought I would give you a bit of an update on what's been going on because I feel like I haven't been very good at vlogging this trip i feel like i've been a bit sporadic a bit here there and everywhere and i've been vlogging on my phone and the camera and it's just all a bit all over the place so apologies for that but this hotel is absolutely beautiful i really recommend this hotel if you are looking for somewhere around the cotswolds but this is more kind of the gloucestershire area so it's a little bit further out than 
kind of like the classic Cotswold areas. But I really like that because I think it's so much less kind of touristy and it's a little bit quieter. Um, and it just feels so remote and cozy. I think coming here as a couple or like me and Grace have done, like two friends, I think it is so beautiful. And actually I think they do like weddings and events potentially. So um, yeah, really lovely. I've also just had a shower. The shower was so good. The water pressure was amazing. And it definitely makes me realize how old and not very good our shower is. Hello. <laughs> Look at us in our dressing gowns. <laughs> me. Oh, they're so comfy, aren't they? That shower is so nice. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's so it's such like the perfect temperature yeah. and the perfect um, pressure. Mm. I love like good water pressure. Right, we have just come down for breakfast. This is what the menu is looking like. I think we are both going to go for full English. I am really in the mood for some bacon, sausages. But you can also help yourself to any of the buffet and they've got homemade crumpets which we just walked past that look absolutely amazing and we've got a lovely little seat right by the window thank you my darling little orange juice and an apple juice it's delicious we have finished breakfast i actually didn't show you breakfast I forgot but it was delicious and we are just taking some pictures in the hotel and we grace has just come into this room and said look at this and it's a full games room how cool loads of games in here this is so fun i love this artwork as well that's really cool yeah it's really cool i really it's like, like yeah i really like the um lights above the frames yeah. i think i need to do that ho i have no idea how to play this but very cool oh, i love this game <laughs> do you we were saying yesterday that the um garden is probably so nice Oh wow, Grace, look at the view from here. I bet it's so nice in the summer. Oh, it's such a grey day. Look at the Christmas tree. All oh, the baubles are falling off. Oh, it is so pretty. It's such a nice building. I really like the, um, this little balcony out here, I think it's really nice. I would just love to have a living room like this big. I know. Wouldn't it be so cool? Yeah, this is so, it's so nice out here. You're so right when you said it feels like French countryside or like yeah. Italy. We have left the hotel, we've checked out, got changed, put some nice country clothes on, nice and warm. We're gonna have a little walk around, get some fresh air after breakfast. I thought I would show you the outside of the hotel. So there's parking all along here. And then the hotel looks like this. Absolutely massive from the outside. It is so nice. So we're gonna have a little wander around. Fresh air, lovely morning. And luckily it's not as cold as it was yesterday because yesterday at Vista, it was freezing. I am home. I've lit the fire, I've lit a candle, and I've got a lot of bits to show you. Most of these are Christmas presents, a couple of bits I picked up for myself, so I thought I would deep dive into it, show you what I got, and hopefully give you some ideas for last minute Christmas presents, or if you are heading to Bicester, I can give you some ideas of kind of what I was looking at. I am definitely ready to take my makeup off and have an early night, that's for sure. But I'm going to start off with a couple of bits that I picked up for myself. I didn't get loads. Firstly, in Ralph's Run, I saw a couple of things. One thing that I've had my eye on for a while is actually the Lily Silk Cashmere Cable Knit Jumper. Very similar to my grey one that I've spoken about loads of times. But I saw this one in Ralph's Run and I just... I just wanted to buy it straight away. I really want to wear it. I absolutely love this. Really soft. So lovely. I got this in a size small, I think. Yes, size small. And it was reduced from 179 RRP down to 143. So pretty good saving. And just a really good classic. A really lovely basic piece. I can put a shirt under this. I can wear it on its own. Just a really nice classic that I'm gonna have in my wardrobe for a really long time and it's super soft. 
I love this cream with the cable knits, really lovely. Then I'm going to show you a couple of Christmas presents because I know that these people are not gonna watch my vlogs. So hopefully they don't, but I really don't think they will. <laughs> um, so I actually got Jack this Ralph Lauren zip up, kind of quarter zip um, little top. And this was an amazing price. This was RRP 169 and it was down to 70 pounds with the, an additional discount on top of the outlet price. So an amazing saving, nearly a hundred pounds off. And I can see why it's quite expensive because it's really good quality. It's super soft. And I thought this would be really nice for winter, like in the gardens, at home when we're like relaxing and cozy. He really likes having things like this a little bit baggier just to lounge around in. So yeah, I thought this would be really good. And he's already got one like this in navy. So I thought this color which would be quite nice to add to his collection. So that is going to go in my present cupboard and hopefully he's not going to find it. And then we went into Ralph Lauren home, which is upstairs in the big Ralph Lauren store at the end of Vista Village. And I have never looked up there before. I didn't even know they had a home section and I fell in love with so many things. I now have so many ideas of home things and ideas of how I want to update areas. I have been on the hunt for a new blanket. I either want this to go in the living room or in our bedroom, I'm not 100% sure yet. And I saw this one and I just love the chocolate brown, the check, the kind of like tartan check. I think it's so wintry, really kind of country luxe. It's super soft really thick really warm and it's quite a big blanket so this could be a really good throw for the bed or i could keep it down here and have it on the sofa like this i think it's really really lovely and just a nice wintry touch and me and jack are always sat on the sofa in the evenings or on the weekends watching a movie watching tv and it gets so cold in here so we're always grabbing a blanket and i just thought it'd be really nice to have a nice new one it's also got a little leather uh, Ralph Lauren logo on just gorgeous. I just think this is so nice very chalet winter vibes Then I popped into the Bamford store at Bista Village Beautiful packaging. This is really lovely bag and I got Jack's mum a couple of little bits to add to her presents So firstly, she was actually speaking about the Bamford skincare products. She is really into beauty. That is her kind of industry and um, she was talking about trying the Bamford beauty products um, and she really loves moisturizers and creams. They're kind of her favorite products to try. So I picked up the plumping cream from Bamford and the packaging is stunning. Really lovely, almost concrete feeling bottle, really heavy, quite a big size as well. So I think even though this is quite expensive, I think this is gonna last a really long time. And it's a really nice gift to give to someone that loves beauty products. I also picked up this candle, which is a Dalesford candle. And I just loved this branding with the darling written here. I actually can't open this because it's sealed shut, but this is the rose fragrance. It smells absolutely beautiful, really soft, really lovely. This was 45 pounds and it was down to 30, so really good. And it comes in a ceramic pot. If you've been to Dalesford Lowe's, you probably recognize that already but I thought it would be really nice when she's finished burning it, she can keep the pot and then she can use it for something else. I was really impressed with the stock at the White Company, actually. I sometimes think that at the outlet, it's not amazing. Often I've been to Vista Village and come away with absolutely nothing. I think this is the first ever time I've been to Vista Village and actually bought things. Usually I go there and there's nothing that I want or nothing, anything that's good for Christmas presents. But this year it was brilliant. So I got a Seychelles candle as a Christmas present for somebody that loves Seychelles. I also got a fluffy hot water bottle for another member of Jack's family that is obsessed with hot water bottles. And I thought this would be really nice because I actually have this and it's so soft and so snuggly and just a really nice gift because you wouldn't buy this for yourself. And this was £32 down to £21.33, so really good saving. The Seychelles range is actually not discounted, it's just the same price as the store. I then got a couple of cashmere socks for a few different people in the family. And these were an amazing discount actually. Oh, it doesn't say on here. These were £29 originally and they were down to 
19 pounds and 33 pence so a really good saving for the cashmere socks which to be honest i wish i bought some for myself because i absolutely love these socks um so i got a pink pair and a blue pair for a couple of family members and then i also got this little furry eye mask which was 15 pounds down to 10 so a saving of five pounds and it's quite funny because a couple of these presents are actually for grace but I was struggling with what to get her and because she's going to Australia, she wanted some bits for her trip. So when we were in Bista Village, she kind of looked at a couple of things and was like, oh, I love this. This would be so good for the airplane. Should I get it? And I said, well, I'll buy it and it can be one of your Christmas presents. So I got her this for her Christmas present. This is something that she wanted to get for herself for the airplane. So this is one of her gifts. And that was everything I got in the White Company. I didn't go crazy, really. Usually I find the White Company so easy to just get loads because everything is just so nice. But I only got a few little bits. And actually, I did really well for Christmas gifts in there. Just little bits for grandparents, aunties, all of that kind of stuff. And then I popped into Cowshed. And this is actually one of Grace's Christmas presents as well. I already was going to buy this and because they had it there I said to her this is one of your presents I'm just gonna buy it now and she was like oh my god I can't believe you're gonna buy that that's amazing so for Australia I got her one of the Soho house towels as like her beach towel and she is going to look amazing in Australia this is just the classic Soho house green stripe towel really simple but really lovely and they actually had some really good stock in there they had the dressing gowns they had the skincare they had candles the towels they had quite a lot of things so if you are looking for anything soho home related i would definitely recommend heading there and having a look and there was a little bit of a discount i think i did save about 15 or 20 pounds or something like that and then the final thing i picked up at vista was the bag I did get the bag and a little bit of a story time very quickly. I never impulse buy. It's something that I really don't like doing when it's a lot of money. But I have been looking the last few weeks and trying to find a style that I really like because there are a lot of bags out there and I don't particularly like any of them. And I kept coming back to this Manhattan Saint Laurent style and I really loved it but there was something about it that didn't feel super summery to me and I wanted a bag for spring summer that really feels perfect for that season but still really durable, still a really good size, not a basket bag because I already have one but something a bit different and when I saw this I couldn't believe it. I literally ran straight to the bag and said to Grace, oh my god this is unbelievable this is exactly what i've had in my mind and i've never actually seen it before i don't know if it's old stock or if i just haven't seen it I, i'm not sure this was the only one left on the shelf and it went out that morning there was a fresh one out the back but it had just sold that second and this was the only one left and it went out that morning and I just thought I feel like this is fate. It was 500 pounds off the original price, which again is an amazing saving. And to be honest, I do think if I didn't buy it then and there, I would have regretted it. And I probably would have tried to buy it elsewhere and then had to pay more. So in my defense, I feel like it's a very wise purchase. And I just think it is beautiful. I think this is going to go with my entire wardrobe. I love how classic this shape is. I really love bags that are quite sturdy, that have a top handle, a crossbody, and they're quite square. This is just my favorite style of bag. The bags in my collection that I use the most are all this kind of style, so I know that I'm gonna wear this so much. Oh, I've just seen a spider. Was it a spider? I don't know. Anyway, pretend that didn't happen. Um, yeah i just know i'm going to use this so much so it's the tan leather on the top and the handles and the strap and then the main kind of area of the bag is this really gorgeous canvas linen style effect which i think is beautiful i just think it's so beautiful i love it so much and i guess this is my christmas present to myself so so beautiful and i just love this clasp detail 
it's really subtle i don't really love bags that are really heavy logos i i don't mind them but they're definitely not my favorite and i don't reach for them the most so this is just so classic it's going to last in my wardrobe for such a long time I'm never going to get sick of it it's going to be able to be used through spring all the way until autumn because i feel like this is still quite an autumnal style as well oh, i'm so happy i absolutely love it and then finally the last couple of bits i picked up were at burford garden company because we did pop there on the way home. I really wanted Grace to go there and see it because I just love it. Even though I did literally go there on Sunday and it's only Thursday, but I picked up some really lovely little gifts. So firstly, I picked up a diffuser for another family member. This is the Garouge, I think is how you say that, or Garage. not 100% sure, but it's like a sandalwood leather um bergamot kind of diffuser scent and it is beautiful really lovely and this was 42 pounds for quite a big size from the brand branched olive branched olive i think really lovely minimal packaging so that is lovely oh i forgot about this i got jackson fudge because he loves fudge <laughs> lucky i spotted that i also got my mum as like a little extra present because um I'm getting her quite a special present this year um but just as a little extra i got her this marmalade because she absolutely loves marmalade it's one of her favorites i, I honestly think she was paddington bear in another life um and this was a bucks fizz marmalade so i thought she would really love this at christmas time when she has her toast and marmalade in the morning something a little bit special and it's in a really beautiful kilner jar so she can keep the jar and reuse it and then the last thing I got, which is a little bit random, but I saw this green ribbon and I've been looking for some green ribbon for decorating the wreaths and the garlands and things like that. And this is the perfect colour. I cannot find one that I love. And this one is just beautiful and it's so wide, which is really what I wanted. So I picked up this and it's quite long. I think it's five metres. Yes, five metres. So pretty good. And they had a really lovely selection of... Christmas wrapping, Christmas boxes, cards, just the nicest things. And then the final thing I got, which is another Christmas present for a member of Jack's family. To be honest, most of the gifts I've got are for Jack's family. <laughs> I've already kind of sorted out my family. They're already done and dusted. I picked up this beautiful book for jack's grandma and she loves gardening her garden is beautiful and she loves the royals so i thought this would be really lovely for her to flick through when she sat on the sofa over christmas nice and cozy and i just thought it looked gorgeous hrh the prince of wales high grove coffee table book and she has a couple of books stacked up next to her armchair with loads of um gardening things and like garden books and i just thought she would love to have a flick through this with a cup of tea and it's split through the month so it's january all the way through to december it's got a planting list i mean probably a lot of this she'll already know because she is so good at gardening she wins the um the local church um competition for like roses and flowers she always wins first prize <laughs> um but i just thought this would be a really lovely thing and i know she loves stuff like that so i think she's gonna really enjoy this i've never actually been into the bookstore at burford before and i don't know why because i love books i absolutely love coffee table books novels everything to do with books i love them and even just being around books in a bookshop i love i just find them so calming and so relaxing so that is the end of this vlog i had such a wonderful couple of days it's been so relaxed we actually ended up going to sleep last night around midnight because we were cry laughing for hours in bed and it was just so nice me and grace haven't done anything like that together for so long and we always have such a nice time. So I'm so happy that I was able to take her and experience the Painswick, which was incredible. I definitely want to book to go back in the summertime. I think sitting on that terrace with a glass of rosé when it's like really balmy and warm outside will be lovely. I could take my new bag. <laughs> we actually said we're going to make it an annual trip and go to Bista this same kind of week every December. So next year we will do the same thing and it feels super Christmassy and really lovely. 
and yeah so nice